Welcome to this new video in Microsoft Power BI. How to use Chat GPT with Microsoft Power BI. We have seen this both powerful tools working independently, but how they can complement each other. Let us see in this video. Now we have seen many Power BI videos and we have seen how to work on different charts, different dashboards, different reports inside Power BI. Now one problem which you might face across is how to get those beautiful colors in Power BI. There are different uh, charts which we want to add some beautiful colors like neon colors, red, blue, green, yellow and so on. But now the challenge is the beautiful vibrant colors it's difficult to get. Creating a theme inside Power BI is a little difficult. We have to learn some JSON coding and get the answers. Now in this video, you'll learn how to create a JSON theme directly in ChatGPT and get that theme used in Microsoft Power BI. So we'll try to decode this particular topic in this particular video. Let's see in detail. So first thing what I'll do is I'll first load the data in Microsoft Power BI. It's a simple Excel file, create a random two to three charts and those boring charts, boring cosmetic things, how we can make it look better. Let's try to do it. So first thing, this is my Microsoft Power BI. I try to bring some Excel workbook. The Excel file is kept into one of the folder. I'll try to bring this particular file, which is Technoid sales data. This is the same Superstore data what we have. I'll select this order sheet and then I can just click on load button. The data is loaded on the right hand side. You can see all the different columns in Microsoft Power BI. Now the first thing what I'll do is I'll just create some basic visuals. I can right click add visual. I'll create first maybe a column chart which is for subcategory and sales. I can add subcategory from the bottom. In the Y axis, I can pick up here, let's say sales. And in the legend part, I'll add here, let's say region. So this is the first chart I've created, a subcategory sales stack column chart. Second chart, I can just right click, add a particular chart. I can go for maybe a pie chart. The pie chart will talk about the region and the sales. So that's a second visual which I've created. Let me try to rearrange those. Right. And two more visuals. I can right click add visual. Suggest a type. I will make it as off. From here I can pick up maybe ribbon chart. This is a ribbon chart I'll pick up. And the ribbon chart will contain let's say order date. It will contain the sales part. And in the legend I'll pick up here something let's say as region. So this is a ribbon chart which I picked up. And the last visual which I can pick up from here would be let's say a donut chart. So to pick up a donut chart, control C, control V, the pie chart I've just duplicated. Select this donut chart and I can just go back here. Instead of pie chart, I'll select this donut chart. And instead of region, I'll pick up something which is let's say category. Now, if you observe here, these are different colors. If you see, these are the color palettes we have, this orange color, blue color, dark blue color, and so on. But now if I want to change the colors, normally what we do is we go to the view tab, we click on this drop down over here. And from here, I can just go to customize current theme and I have to play with the colors. So I have to change one color, every color from here. You see, I have to change one color from here. I have to change the second color, second selection color from here and so on. So like this, when I click on apply, all the places, the color would be changed. Now, this was for the colors. Second, if I want to change the text size, maybe 14, 15, maybe the title size, maybe if I want to add the borders and shadows, it consumes a lot of time. Now, one problem which I face usually personally, and you people also might be facing, is how to bring the beautiful colors. You might see people posting on LinkedIn, on Facebook and other social media platform. They, they put a beautiful dashboard, which has very good colors. They are the vibrant colors, neon colors and so on. Now I want ChatGPT to help me out to bring those colors and I don't have knowledge about the colors. Let's see how do we do that. So first thing I'll open here ChatGPT. I'll open that ChatGPT window. Right now in this place, what I can do is first I'll try to write a script what I want to ask to my ChatGPT. I'll just open a notepad and here in the notepad, I'll just try to bring this window. In this notepad, I'll try to write what exactly I'm looking for from ChatGPT. Let me just bring it here. So let me write in a simple language here. Create a theme for Power BI with following things. Okay, number one, it should contain, let's say, neon colors. Neon colors 
for charts with red and blue color mandatory okay that's the first task i have second ask i have that the x and y axis size should be 50 third ask i have let's say the data label size should be maybe let's say 15 then fourth ask i have let's say if i want the title i i don't have a title right now so if i want to add borders and shadow to the charts okay these are four asks which i have now let me explain you what exactly i'm asking the font size if you see the data label font size it's very small it's around 10 or 11 so if you want to cross check what i can do is i can select this data label and here on the data label right hand side if i show you the size is currently is approximate it's nine if you see this is a nine size which is on top of me right now now if i want to make this label data label size as 15 the title size if i want to increase or the colors so one by one i can change from here in the format tab or if you're very smart if you're very knowledgeable you can go to the view tab and in the customize current theme you can do it but if you have less knowledge about the colors and if you want to do it a bit faster you can try this method so i will select this chart i will select this text Control c from my keyboard and i can just paste Control v and i'll press enter now i've asked chat gpt to create a theme with the following things now you can be a little more demanding you can write 20 30 lines what exactly you want so that kind of theme power bi will generate okay this chat gpt will generate for you so if you see this is picking up the colors these are the color codes hexadecimal codes here now i do not have a knowledge about json truly speaking so i like to use software which are button click carefully observe i also have used chat gpt to create coding for me and that to using button clicks i've just typed it and i have pressed enter key now this is defining the y axis size as 14 x axis font size as 14 and this is the background and foreground all things we have right now so let it finish now one thing if you have noticed this one that it has given the entire coding entire script which is json file and it has also given some text on the right top hand side so if you see here it says it is only having data till September 2021. Now, Microsoft Power BI upgrades its features every month. You have to understand that thing. So, the theme syntax or the coding which is given, it's applicable for 2020 version here. But some features will definitely work. So, how do I bring this theme in Power BI? That's a topic here. I can click on copy code on the top. Go to the notepad. I can just press Ctrl V from my keyboard. Paste this particular theme. Okay, the coding here. File menu bar save this file i will save this on the desktop give the name as power bi pbi as theme dot json okay and from save as type select the as all files now power bi theme dot json is the extension you have to remember save as type should be all files and i can just click on save now i can close this or minimize this one coming back to power bi now i have very less knowledge about neon colors the vibrant colors so I can click on this drop down, select this option as browse for themes from the desktop. I'll pick up this power BI theme, PBI theme, and I can just click on open. So you see what will happen is it will apply that theme, which has been created. And within few seconds, it is applied to the backend. So if you see, I have not done any changes. Okay. So here, if you see the font size, which is a data label size has changed to 15, the colors, which are picked up as neon colors. These are the vibrant colors and this colors have been applied here. So this is what the Power BI theme, this is how you can use chat GPT with Microsoft Power BI. Now you can modify this in a better manner. Okay. You can modify this thing. What you can do is you can ask little smarter questions to chat GPT to get the answers properly. So I've just written the four pointers, but you can keep on typing multiple questions so that you get a proper theme. You can directly pick up that theme inside Power BI. Now you may not be happy with the, all the hundred percent, you know, answers for that. So what you can do is from this drop down, you can just go to customize current theme and still you can make those changes. You can go to the text. You can go to the title. Maybe you can define the title of all the charts. Okay. You can choose the font color from here and you can just choose the font family and I can just click on apply. So still you can define, you can change the entire theme, whatever you're doing. Okay. Same way I can go back. If I think one of the color is not as per my expectation, I can just go to name and color. I can change this color from here and I can pick up some other color. Okay. And then I can just click on apply. So colors, I have the control.
Now, if you think this theme is fine, this theme is good, you can go to this drop down view menu bar and here comes as save current theme. So the first theme was PBI theme. Now, if I click on save current theme, I can write as modified PBI theme. Okay. And I can just click on save button. So this theme, which has been again customized as per my wish will be used. And this can be used by the whole organization. So coming to the point here in the bigger organizations, you are not allowed to show your creativity. Many organizations which I've worked with, which I've trained them. So they have a set of standards and guidelines and rules that this is the color. This is the background color. That's a foreground color, which you have to follow. And they give you a ready-made theme. And then you can use that theme. All the people in the company follow the same theme. So themes, they work on it a little better to understand what's the company logo color. Accordingly, the charts would be there. Maybe your client, what is the client logo color? Okay, they can pick up that colors and try to prepare it. Or maybe what is the product color? The product which you're selling or marketing or doing some changes on that. So based on that, the whole dashboard is prepared. So this is one of the example, one of the use, how we can use this chat GPT for creating themes in Microsoft Power BI. I hope you have understood and that's all for this video.